Okay, so in this video, we are going to configure our Spring Boot project so that it is able to create a Docker image, right? So this is our Spring Boot project. Um, and uh, uh, and what? Hold on. And uh, this is our uh, repo this is our local workspace wherein our Spring Boot project project is uh, present. So we have got a target folder and we have got a classes. Uh, anyway, so we have not yet created a jar file in here, right? So not a big deal. So hold on. So here we will talk about uh, uh, Maven Docker plugin. So if you Google the job of Maven Docker plugin is to help you connect your deploy your Spring Boot project in the Docker environment, right? So Maven Docker plugin. So when you search for Do Maven Docker plugin, it will take you to the Spotify page, Spotify GitHub account. So if you go there, um, it will give you one set of plugin uh, which uh, you will need to use. So let's kind of uh, use this plugin over here, right? So I will copy this stuff. Go back to our STS inside pom.xml and in here, in the plugin section, I will paste this plugin. So we have got this plugin. Let me format it a bit. Edit, uh, format, where is it? Source, sorry, source format. So we have got com.spotify. Version in, in, information is not required, so I will remove it. Uh, in configuration, let me add the value for Docker host. So we need uh, Docker host. Hold on. Yeah, Docker host, right? Docker host is HTTP 172.18.2.50.2375. I suppose that is a Docker host, right? Uh, and uh, image name, what will be the image name which will be deployed to the Docker? as a container and then we will be running it as an image. Uh, let us say uh, VRDM, right? VRDM uh, and in front, let me add uh, 04, right? Uh, or let's say 004. Uh, the base image will be Java 8. So Java uh, version 8. So Java colon 8. Uh, apart from that, no other change. I will just remove this forward slash from here. Not required. Um, and everything else remains the same. Let's save it and uh, redeploy this app locally, right? Let us see if everything is still okay. Like local versions should always work fine, right? Even before we deploy it in the Docker, we should make it sure that doc local version is working fine. Could not load or find main class. Hold on. Run as Spring Boot app. What's the problem? It says that either could not find or load main class. Did I change anything else? No, the change. Then what's the problem? What's the problem? So what will be the problem? Let me try restarting STS. Sometimes, uh, um, you know, restarting STS resolves the issue. So this thing is not getting resolved. Could not find or load the main class. Even if I do the Maven update project, force update, uh, updating Maven project, you can see it is updating, right? 8% is done. Let's wait for some time to see if it updates. 35% done, 40% done. So far, so good. Uh, looking good okay so let me try now run as spring boot app basically the real reason oh it's running now good 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 it's running right so local version should run fine that's what i believe in now with whatever changes we do started application uh home 35 easy so far like so rest api is working fine uh you can also run any other REST APIs which are available in there. Uh, I do not know what were the REST APIs which I coded previously. <laughs> slash all. I do not know what will slash all give. Let us see. 
rather than welcome if I say slash all. If the data is in there, it's empty array. So data is not there, that means. Okay, fine. <coughs> it's working good. Um, I will also go ahead and make it uh, <coughs> 40, let's say. Right, so. Uh, with this thing done um, and the uh, Maven Docker plugin configured, let us go and test it out. So this was our Maven Docker, Docker plugin, right? Um, let us go and test it out. So I will go to the command prompt and see if it works. So I will go over here in our folder and say, at this point of time, I would also want to open the workspace folder which is over here. Let's skip it open over here. You know. And uh, we have got a target folder in here, which is empty for now. So my focus is inside the target folder. Something will happen in target folder now. So when I say MBN, I have to say Docker colon build. So what it will do is it will create a docker, it will create a jar file ready to be deployed to the docker, uh, basically ready to be deployed uh, in docker, uh, MVN docker build. Basically it will create a jar file and deploy it to the docker host. And what is docker host? As in this case, HTTP 172.182.50, right? So it will do the job for us. So it will deploy it as a container in docker host. Uh, I suppose um, it won't run because um, I have not yet created the jar file. No? no, it is running. Good, great. But yeah. So you can see it has created a Docker folder with the Docker file, but there is no jar file in there. Right? Why no jar file is in there? Because we did not create it over in the, here in the target folder. So first, let us go ahead and uh, create a jar file with MBN package. Right? So we have created a jar file with MBN package. Now let us now if I run that MBN Docker build once again, it will create a Docker file. And at the same time, also push it, also push the jar file to the Docker host. So it is building. You can see it is building 004 VRDM, right? This is what we this is what we created, right? This is what we created in the Docker plugin, right? Here it is. We named it whatever we what should be our image name. So it is trying to build it. And once it is successfully completed building the image, it will push it to the, basically it will, we can, we can run it from the Docker host. So let, let's wait for it to finish building the image. So it is building image, a step one of three, two of three, three of three, running image, build success, uh, successfully built, right? So. Uh, successfully tagged VRDM latest and uh, and the ID is this uh, 53CE6200, right? So, so 53CE6200, keep that in mind. So uh, now we can go and take a look at the server and see whether this image is available or over there or not. And we can also see inside this folder, in the target folder, inside the Docker folder, we have got the jar file and the Docker file. And Docker file has got the required uh, statements which we need to pull the dependencies and run the image, right? So hold on. Um, I can now go to the downloads, uh, Docker. I can open CMD ER over here. I've got this Docker client. I think you can follow the Docker document which, which is available to you via support, right? which is available to you uh, to, to, to learn how to use this thing. So docker hyphen h, what is the host? 172.18.2.50 at 2375 run hello 
world. I'm just running the hello world of Docker, nothing as such. So Docker hello world is running fine. So I can see <sighs> images. It will get us the list of images from the host. That is this Docker host. Oh, it is taking some time. Wow, so many images, huh? So let me make it small. Okay, so our images should be up here. Our image should be up here somewhere. Yeah. So you can see VRDM created two, two minutes ago. Uh, the size is this, uh, including the dependencies, including Java it environment and all. And this was the ID, right? 53CE6200, if you remember. So now we can run those, run this image with uh, run hyphen b 004 v r d m right fair enough oh i did not uh, specify the port number so 5000 of the um of the uh, of the image with uh, 5000 of the machine right so If the fingers crossed, let us see if it goes through. Since the image was there, we are trying to run that image. So if the, so if the image is trying to run, great. The point is, if the 5000 port is already occupied, it won't be running, right? So in that case, you will need to change the port. And the other thing is, uh, if the 5000 5, port is not, if it changed, it is not occupied and if it is still, still you are unable to access it that means you need to send us an email asking us uh, to open the port so if the port is closed we will open the port so it is trying to run so 5000 uh, is uh, startup complete uh, hibernate property is not found not required so it, all the log things are coming over here Okay, so command running, hold on, hold on, hold on. We should quickly get started successfully at port 5000 in that way. Basically, all these log dumps are coming from the Docker server, right? Docker, Docker house. You can see 5000, right? A started application is six, in 68.983 milliseconds. Okay, so that means I can go to the browser window and see. 172.18.2.50 sorry 2.50 at port 5000 that's where our application is running Taylor welcome great that was the last update we did right 40 hmm? so now we have built our uh, so now what we have done is uh, we, 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 we deployed to the docker rightly from our spring boot but next we would want to deploy to the docker from uh, via maven that, sorry via jenkins we would we would ask jenkins to uh, to build the image uh, and then deploy to docker basically ideally what if we, what if we will be doing is we'll be making a changes to the source code source code and then committing it after a commit uh, build and deployment should ha ha happen automatically that's what our next step is so before i do the ne next step let me kind of stop this image Control C. So I have stopped the client. So ideally, my image is al already running. Hold on, let me show you. PS. You can see the image is already running, right? Uh, up to this one. What? Where is it? VRDM is already running. So I will need to stop it. It has been up since two minutes at port 5000, right? So uh, 
let me stop it so what was the id uh, I, I need i need id now the id was this one the id of the container which is stopped and id of the image which is running is different huh? so stop id so it has been stopped uh, now we can go ahead and remove it as well right so that's it for now uh, in next video we are going to use jenkins to deploy what we create in local to docker right so we will be configuring our job to to do the deployment via jenkins right